Small background improvements can go quite a long way in stepping up the quality of your streams. In today's video, we are going to give you guys five basic tips to improve your background. How's it going everyone? I'm your host, The King, and welcome back to the Streamlooch channel. In today's video, we're going to tell you guys all the tips and tricks to improve your background to have a nicer looking one that can be more eye-catching on stream or videos. Having a flashy background or even something that looks more professional can go a long way rather than just having a clutter in your room and people are looking and they're like, hmm. There's always small steps that you can take to improve that are both cheap and effective and we're going to go through all of those concepts today. Now keep in mind I'm going to try to keep these as most cost efficient as they possibly can be because I know when you're starting off streaming you sometimes don't have the means to do this. That's how I was myself. I had no means of doing anything and I had to save up paychecks on paychecks and paychecks from Twitch just to improve any of the backgrounds and then I'm also going to tell you guys some of the more expensive options in case you have a goal in mind or you have the means to do so. So that being said, let's jump on in to the five tips that I have for you guys. So step number one is probably the most basic one that you can do, and that is simply just getting a green screen. You get a green screen behind you, you can easily chroma key your background out and poof, just like that, you have a clean background. If there's a lot of space going around, or maybe you have people walking in your background, or maybe you just don't have the means to change your background up too much, or it's not enough space, whatever the case may be, getting a green screen can really, really help with that. You can then chroma key yourself, and that way you can also have your gameplay showing a lot better because there's not going to be a big square and it's pretty clean. If you want to take this a step further, you can even create your own fake background. A lot of people seem to do this and now with Discord and Zoom, you can even get yourself some fake background so it's not too out of the box. If you're looking to go the professional route with things such a green screen, you can get someone to fully create an animated scene for you as seen on screen right here in my new segments that I do in my very own channel. So you have your green screen with some added layers to get that professionalism. If you want to take this even a step further and you have a background like mine that's actually kind of flashy or you created a nice background, you can take a still image of your background or a video, put the green screen on and then put your head so that it's outside of your webcam border and your background is still in the back. It gives a very weird illusion, but people really like it and you never have to worry about your background being dirty or not suitable for streaming. So that is probably the most cost efficient way to doing this. A green screen you can find online for 12 to 20 bucks. You can even find a portable ones to make your job a lot easier. And I recommend doing something like that if that's the option you're looking for. All right, but let's talk about some small improvements now. What can you do to your already existing background? Maybe you have something nice, but it's just lacking in some areas. Well, the next thing that I can recommend for you guys are lights. You can see all of the string lights that are hanging down. I bought these for literally $7 off of Amazon. And if you have the effect to make your background blurry, you know, you have that aperture effect. If you have your camera that has some blur, it gives it a nice little illusion when it's just standard string lights. You can get these in different colors, etc. If you want to go a little bit above and beyond, you can spend maybe $30 to $40. And there's some amazing floor placed lights that illuminate your background. You can change the colors on both ends and even with Streamloop cards you can manage to change these colors with viewers interaction which is pretty damn cool. It adds a lot of personality to your stream. If you want to take that one step higher you can get a bar like my own which is a gove light and this is going to absolutely illuminate your entire background. You can change it to absolutely any color you want, any setting. It's more on the expensive side but still affordable and a good investment towards the future as you can also connect this with something like Lumia Studio, change the lights with any viewer interactions, bits, subscribers, if someone's using channel points, etc, which is really, really damn cool. Adding just some standard lights to spice up the background really adds a lot more character and flavor to your streams. You can set this to whatever you like. I personally like the colorful lights because it's more eye-catching and I can always change this to fit the mood when need be. But back to the basics, you can get yourself some string lights, you want to go a step further, you can get the floor lights, you want to go a step further, 
take a look at the go flights let's carry on over to the next tip which is getting some props so props in a background again add some more character and gets rid of a lot of the dead space that you may have now if you're going for the more clean and subtle look you can just get something that's small minimalistic get a little plant in there you, you can see we have some plants up here it's very clean it looks good if you have wood based or darker base it really adds a little bit of flavor and and i'm saying flavor a lot but it does it adds a little bit more saturation it makes it stand out and it looks quite nice you can go for the whole shebang like me where i have everything that i find valuable to myself and with the added blurred background you want to make sure that the props you're using if you do have a blurred background are actually big enough to be caught because there's some things that i have my background like that that you probably can't really make out what it is it's an elephant but you probably can't make it out so make sure the props you're getting are pretty big like you can see the prop over here we have which is quite nice you can make it out what it actually is something like the youtube play button or the med kit or some masks that we have in the background all over the place get yourself some props fill in the dead space make it something more personalized to you whatever fits your aesthetic there's millions of things that you can do and you can find these very cost efficient tailored to your own liking some props that people love to do especially gamers are getting yourself some funko pops i have a bunch of funko pops here you can't actually fully see it because i'm always covering it but funko pops are a great way of showing what you really love and it adds a lot more personality and who doesn't like some good funko pops moving on to step number four and how to improve your background a little bit is to get some acoustic foam now i know this sounds a little bit crazy because they're like acoustic so foam is for sound yes it does solve that problem as well it gives you better acoustics it makes your microphone sound better but it also looks pretty clean and professional you can see we have some acoustic foam running down the side here but if you want to go for something let's say your background uh is a bit dodgy you know maybe you don't have the right paint maybe it looks off you can easily get some acoustic foam they're pretty cheap and effective you get a lot in a set it seems like a little they only offer sometimes 12 in a pack but that's enough to cover this whole wall for me you can go ahead, spend some money on that. It looks nice. It looks clean. And you can get some colors that identify with your channel as well to give it that professional feel. When you have that, you can have a nice, clean acoustic background. Maybe set up a small shelf if you want to take it a step further and have something nice going on there. And it knocks two birds with one stone as you'll have better sound and a clean background. And here's the final tip this one is a little bit different it's not necessarily anything that you can necessarily buy but it's more working which you're setting a lot better uh, i'm sure if you're in a room and you have the means to do so you're able to move around a little bit so here are some tips to keep in mind if you're trying to find that perfect place to set everything up number one is make sure you have enough room for everything you don't want to be in a tight little box and you're like just squished up and you don't really have a lot to just you know stretch out and do whatever you need to do number two is to make sure you have a lot of depth of feel for your background you want to get yourself as close as possible to the camera not too close you want to have a good distance at least but make sure your background is pretty far this right here is maybe about five feet away from me it just looks a little bit closer but it adds a nice depth of feel when i have it and number three is to make sure that there's no windows or anything like that in the background you know that the weather could be you know different on different days so you don't want your background looking different all the time where sometimes the sun is harshly beaming in on you or one day it's a cloudy day and nobody can see anything you would rather have your windows on your left or your right or maybe even in front of you if you have shades you can easily get around this but windows are also a very bad thing to have because you can't really personalize it if there's a big window here i can't really do too much besides covering the entire window we like some air don't we so that is the final tip that i can give for you maybe it's time to look around a little bit move your setup and see if there's some better space in your area that can work better if you can't do any of those again you can revert to some of the other things that we have get yourself a green screen if you are in that tiny area or you can't do much about your background if you have a nice background get yourself some lighting it also solves another problem where your background might be too dark get yourself that acoustic foam if you need it you know whatever suits your style make sure you go ahead and grab some of these things and slowly but surely you'll have some nice improvements to your background that can go quite a long way giving you that professional and clean view i hope you guys did enjoy if you did leave a like down below if you think of any other tips let me know down in the comment section down below as well and if you have any questions maybe about my background let me know in the comments down below as always i'm your host the king i did my crown to you guys and we'll see you in the fall